All right, guys, look, here we are once again. We are back on the Masterville 1050. We are gonna put that new pizza oven to test. We are gonna make two pizzas today. I am talking one on that new pizza oven and one directly on the grate on just a stone. Is that pizza oven worth the price? Stay tuned and find out. All righty, guys, my name is Tommy, and this is the Gallery Backyard Barbecue. If this is your first time here, you got to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell, blah, blah, blah. You know the deal. You know you want to do it. So look, the general gist of this show, as you can see, I've got my 1050 already fired up. I've got the pizza oven already installed. I will let that stone get up to that 500 to 550 range. We will get the pizza in. We will time it. We will get it off. I will remove everything from the 1050. I will just get the stone on on a grate. I will get it up to that 500 to 550 range, and we will put another pizza in. We will compare both of them, and we will definitely answer the question today, is that new pizza oven accessory worth it or not? Look, the last couple of videos I've posted on my Facebook group i'll leave links down below to that we are just about 25,000 strong many have showed up to say you don't need the accessory just use a stone and you are good to go and so i gotta put that to test i gotta find out if that's fact or not so look man i've got a lot of pizzas to make so let's just cut this right now let's go in the house and make some pizzas then i'll meet you back here at the pit so look, this is definitely going to be a fun show, and in goes pizza number one, and that stone is right at about that five and a quarter, and I am just going to do up some basic cheese pizzas, nothing fancy. Yeah. My whole objective on this little test right here is to keep both pits, both stones, the same temp. Alrighty guys, look, so I am going to use the cell phone. That is going to be my timeline on this pizza. There's no reason for me to go rush and make the next pizza because I got to lower the pit down, remove the uh, pizza oven, install just the stone. At that point, I will go in and make the uh, second pie. And oh yeah, this is going to be good. Up on the screen, we are two minutes in, and that uh, that pizza is looking pretty good. We got a little bit of a hot spot there on the end. That's the first time I've seen that. That cheese is a little bit toasty, but we do have another two minutes to go. So let's uh, let's just wait and see. All right, guys. So look, that was the uh, two minute mark right there. I will let it go for another two minutes, and then we will take a look. So this is our four minutes in, and I would say that pizza is looking pretty good. No reason to go that extra 30 seconds. Usually I like to do that extra 30 seconds, but that is looking good. And that bottom right there is just about perfect. That is where I like it. I like everything crispy on my pizza. So for me, that is looking good. All right, guys, so look, a little bit of a change in plans. As the uh, pit comes down in temp, I figured, let me get this pizza on the board while it's still hot. and let, Instead of letting them both sit here or one sit here and the other one's hot then trying to do the taste test i am going to do the taste test while this is still piping hot while the uh, master bill 1050 cools down a little bit i'll give you a taste test i'll give you my thoughts then i will pull the stone out and we will start the second part of our video so look you guys if you've watched my last couple videos I like a crispy crust so that's how I did it and as you could see we've definitely got that perfect bottom we've got a nice crisp on that cheese we got a nice crust let me go in and cheers so guys look solidly man this is a this is an 8 out of 10 this is a this is a good pot you know it is that good I mean Look, the one, one thing about this Master Bell pizza oven, it does exactly what it's supposed to do. We've got a nice even cook and all the flavors are in there. So I am definitely happy with this. So look, let me break down that Master Bell. Let me go in and make another pie and I'll bring you guys back. So look, same old deal here. I am trying my best to keep that pit and also that stone at the same temperature. Also, we are going to do up the same old, plain old cheese pizza. Yeah. All right, guys, same as before, two minutes. I won't touch it. I won't look at it. At two minutes, I'll open it up. I'll bring you guys back for that peak. All 
All righty, look, that was our two minute mark there and the pizza is definitely lagging behind, but hey man, that, that, that probably only makes sense because when it's inside a pizza oven, it's in a dome right here. So you're gonna get that heat trapped in. It is gonna flow around the pizza and it'll probably cook it a little bit faster. That said, we have not hit that four minute mark yet. So let's just wait and see. So look, right there was the uh, four minute mark. And I gotta say, man, that was a, uh, th that is a pretty good looking pie right there, man. I liked that the, uh, the cheese had a nice even melt to it. The bottom wasn't quite there yet. And again, I do like a little bit more crust. We are gonna let it go that 30 seconds more to see where we are compared to the other one. So look, I do have my wife in the house on standby. She tasted the first pie and definitely loved it. And here is the second one. She's gonna get a sample of that one. Also, I'll leave down in the ticker which one she preferred. Now look, I gotta say, look-wise, I definitely prefer the uh, this one over the uh, pizza oven one. It is definitely evenly cooked. Um, the one thing I did notice is that with the, with the pizza oven, you definitely retain heat on the stone. On this pizza here, I lost that heat on the stone. When I put this in, it was up in over 500. And uh, you know, after opening it up, maybe with the pizza on there, bringing it down, it did drop below that 500. It might've came back up, a lot was going on, so I couldn't keep testing it. But this is an overall better looking pie. There is no doubt about it. We got a nice evenly cooked. I don't think the bottom is as crispy as is done as the other one. Again, that is all in the pizza stone. But you know, if I was in a pizzeria ordering a pizza, I would expect a pie that looks like this over a pie that looks like that. Even though I like that, you could see that the uh, cheese is a little bit more uh, crispy than it should have been. And we definitely got some cheese and we got a pretty nice, uh, pretty nice bottom there. I mean, there is nothing wrong with that. That is cooked nicely. Let's go in with that taste test and I'll give you my thoughts. All right, so look, here is my thoughts and it is pretty easy. This to me is a, uh, this to me is a better pie. Um, the, uh, you know, it is more gooey, it is more cheesy, it is just better. It, matter of fact, it is better than the three pies that I cooked uh, with the pizza oven that I did before this. I've got those videos floating around, you can, uh, you can check those videos out, but this is just a better pie than all three of those. You know, I don't know how to explain it. It would seem that that would be better because again, it retains that heat in there. But uh, I just overall, I, I just like this one better. I think it is uh, the, 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 the crust has a better crunch. The cheese is definitely more gooey. To me, overall, it is just a better pie. What could I say? You know, here at the channel, I am all about keeping these shows real. You know, I don't have to fudge it out for anybody. Um, I, I, I just got to give my opinions and just move on. And that certainly is my opinion. Look, is the, uh, is the pizza oven by Master Bill worth the money? I think it is definitely worth the money. If you want to bang out some pies and maybe you got a family, maybe that way you'll, uh, you'll do better because you'll bang them out quicker because that heat will retain. So if you've got the scratch to spare, pick up that pizza oven, it is definitely worth it. If you don't have the scratch to spare, you don't have the room to spare it, just drop a stone on your grates and go to town. You will be good to go. So look again, man, I will leave down in the timeline so you guys could pick up which one my wife preferred. And again, she tried the other three. So she will give you, uh, leave it all down there and let you know what she preferred. I will drop those other pizza videos here so you could check those out. Again, my name is Tommy. Hit that subscribe button because you're not going to want to miss what I got coming up for sure. And until next time, we will see you soon.